Blessed day guys and peace be upon you today. So in this video, we're going to do remote access using SSH. So we're going to learn how to configure SSH on a layer two switch. We're going to configure SSH here and remotely configure it, remotely access the switch from our admin PC, okay? So as you can remember in the previous video, we did a similar video, but for Telnet, okay? All right, so without any further ado, I'll open my uh, Google spreadsheet. I'll let you know that we're in day six under switching technologies, remote access using SSH. So as you said in the previous video, the Telnet allows us to uh, remotely manage a networking device, okay? But the problem in Telnet is that it's not secure because all the transmission or data or the exchange of uh, the, the transfer of data between the source and the destination is when you analyze using uh, Wireshark, it's displayed uh, in form of a plain text. It's readable format. So you know that attacker can easily sniff what's passing through the... Uh, the two communicating devices so that's why we uh, we are going to configure ssh with a secure version of remote access so that all the data that is uh, is that is being exchanged between the two uh, devices are encrypted and, not, and cannot be read by the man in the middle uh very the middle okay all right, so I've already highlighted steps here that we're going to go through to configure SSH. All right, so the first step is always to uh, draw necessary topology. You decorate and comment, okay? So I forgot to comment. Allow me to comment very, very fast. So I want this network to be 192.168.1.0. Slash 24. 24, sorry. Then I copy. Then I want this to be 2.0, uh, okay? All right, so the first step is all is done. Uh, the first step is done. So if uh, I'm give, um, so you should also draw this similar diagram and make sure that uh, uh, the gig 00 is connected to our main PC, gig 01 to our switch, and the switch connects the two PCs, okay? The computers, right? So the second step is to uh, send IP addresses to the router and host devices. So I'll start with the router today. So let's say I'm going to send IP address to this interface and this interface. And Gig01 should act as the default gateway of this these computers here. And Gig02 IP uh, Gig00 IP address should act as the default gateway of admin PC. So I'm going to make gig 00 to be 192.168.1.1, then gig 01 to be 192.168.2.1, okay? All right, so let's do it very, very fast, same time. Go to the, com the router and just say no, okay? And enable, uh, config T. And uh, we enter, the first one is gig 00, right? So interface, gig 00. zero. Uh, the first thing you do, you turn it up, okay? You can see it's red, red, meaning it's in shutdown state. So let's negate that shutdown. No shutdown, okay? All right, so it's up. We can now assign it IP address of a uh, 192.168.1.1. So IP address, IP add to be 192.168.1.1. Then don't forget subject mask of 255.255.255.0, okay? All right, then we go to interface gig01 right exit so interface gig01 yeah so the first thing no shutdown turn it up okay then you assign it ip address so i'll sign it 2.1 1 and 2 2.1 okay then you exit and do it so we are done configuring the router the router is here just to for the purpose of uh giving us the default gateway okay 
because we cannot uh, uh, communicate with the remote networks without a gateway okay that's why we have the router here okay all right so the next step is to configure uh, ip addresses to the host devices so let's do for the host devices uh, let's start with admin pc so this one was 1.1 .1. i want to send this one 1.10 uh, so um just come to ip then 192.168.1.10 then i copy that ip address come here and i paste now default gateway as i said it should be the ip address of this interface gig 00 right okay so when i come to uh the two computers the two users computers let's start with this one and make it 2.10 okay so this one should be 2.10 2.10 and the default gateway should be 2.1 2 2.1 2 the IP address of this interface right okay so I go back to this one I go to that one and send it 2.20 uh, 2.20 uh, then default gateway should be 2.1 yes so we are done we are done configuring IP addresses to the router and host devices. Now we are going to configure management IP address and default gateway on the switch. How do we uh, assign, how do we configure management IP address and default gateway on a switch? As we said earlier, that all switch belongs to VLAN 1. There's a default VLAN 1 created on the switch. So, config it. So for management IP address, well, we are going to use VLAN 1 at this level, okay? So we just enter that interface VLAN 1. So we just say interface VLAN 1. Then by default, VLAN 1 is always in shutdown state. So turn it up, we just say no shut, okay? After doing that, now you assign it IP address, okay? And you assign it IP address in this range. Okay, you can see it's connected to this router. This router is two is in this network. Okay, so this the management IP address of this switch should also be in this network. Okay, all right. So I just say IP address to interface VLAN one as our management interface. Okay, IP address to be one and two dot one sixty eight dot two dot. Uh, let's give it the last IP address two fifty four. Okay, with the subject mask of two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero that we just we just done uh sending management IP address on this switch so what we want to do we want to give this switch uh we want to tell this switch to use this router's ip this router's interface ip as its default gateway okay so the this interface uh, IP address of this interface should be the default gateway of this switch okay all right so uh just say ip default gateway to be 192.168.2.1 remember the interface had 2.1 okay and it enter all right so let's go to our next step our next step tells us that uh, uh, we should configure hostname domain name enable password and finally username and password before we can configure ssh so let's start with host name on the switch okay so uh just say host name host name to be just one this one to be s1 okay all right after host name we need to configure domain name just say domain ip domain name sorry ip domain name to be let's say it's uh, cisco.com okay google.com yahoo.com things like that all right then we configure what enable password very very important for protecting privilege exec mode enable password password to be let's use cisco okay and finally uh, we configure um username and password so for, to configure username and password just use command username and you give username as admin the, the way you like it you can give your own name okay and password as what you like i'll use cisco in this case okay all right so uh another thing that we need to do here that's done step four is done now we go to step five 
we generate crypto keys using a symmetric uh, uh, encryption algorithm called uh, RSA and keep the length to 1024 okay so how do you do that how do you do that we just the first thing that we do we give the version of uh, SSH IP SSH IP SSH version version let me query IP SSH version let's query version 2 we want to use the latest version of SSH okay right okay please create our you can see please create our SA keys of at least this one to enable SSH version 2 now let's create crypto keys you see RSA okay all right so what I'm going to do how do we create it we just say crypto key generate RSA that's all and you hit enter and it will ask you how many bits in the modulus we've been told to we've been told to keep the length to 1024 you just hit enter that's now done it's now done okay a very simple command crypto key generate RSA okay then keep the length to 1024 now let's let's enable a search version 2 as we previously did but we got an error so we just say uh, IP SSH version 2 and we hit enter so you can see this one this one SSH this one enabled okay all right so SSH has been enabled on this switch so let's apply SSH on the VTY interface it's on the VTY interface that we used to remotely log into a device so on step uh, this should be step, step six uh, configure log local login and transport input uh, SSH, SSH on the VTY interface okay so we'll uh, just first enter the line VTY line uh, VTY 0 to 15 okay then the first thing we do uh, we say login local to use the local database of uh, pass username and password that we created okay then we say transport in this case now we say transport input ssh because we're configuring ssh previously we did input telnet because we were doing telnet now it's ssh and it enter okay and that's now done we're just done configuring ssh on the switch so we can just do right okay all right so um step six step seven here this should be seven and this one should be eight okay so just a little bit six uh seven eight so step seven tells us that on the admin pc ping the management ip address on the switch and it should be successful so i'll go to this uh, uh pc and try to ping the uh uh Madonna that appeared as you can see it's there villain one it's one and two one sixty eight two dot two fifty four okay so I'm going to ping it from admin PC and it should be successful because if if it's not we're not going to uh turn that to that switch so let's just give it some time it will definitely ping although some packets might be lost uh, uh, along the way but uh maybe two one or three may be successful as you can see now let's do it again to receive full uh replies you can see now okay that's successful it should be successful all right so finally on the admin pc ssh to the switch using command ssh hyphen l not this one is not one this was this is not high it's l l letter l okay username then with the IP address so we go to this computer come to cmd then we want to ssh to this switch here okay we just say ssh then i find l this is not one this is not high it's l okay ssh i find l which username did we configure here it was admin don't forget okay then Mm, IP address the management IP address which is 192.168.2.254 and you hit enter 
you can see when now being has password which was cisco now we are in uh user exec mode of switch one so you can just say enable now we receive the enable password which was cisco also okay and now we are in privilege exec, exec mode of our switch here so here we can just say show start so basically i think we have done we have finished on uh remote access using ssh and i will mark it as done so uh, i really appreciate your time for viewing my videos please subscribe to my channel like my video share with friends and drop a comment of appreciation below thank you so much and bye see you